Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be continue in uh, making the curved dynamo curve table that I started a couple of days ago. In the previous uh, video, uh, you just um, managed to create the curved side uh, pipe, and um, yeah, I managed also to create a rotation of that uh, 360 degree, and you can control the amount of uh, or actually the angle between each uh, copy or instance of those uh, curves and now we need to have a good look at the image again and if we see uh, we will be in need to create two rings one here in the base and one at the top and we need also to create two cylinders one here in the ground and the other one in the you know top glass panel of this table so looking at the lower one as i talk about the ring it's uh, you know the center of the table itself and the radius i will make it as you know the curve as you can see here from the detail wherever the curve ends or start it depends on how you look at it while the top one will be the top center and the radius will end wherever we decided the top right or top left side of the uh, you know the table so let's do the lower rank in its uh, straightforward process i will be uh, in a need to uh, solid by a sweep so i will uh, go ahead and look for it So this one, and in it we need two circles. One circle here that goes its center in the in the middle of the or the center of the table, and the edge will be you know, uh, as I said, the uh, lower edge or lower curve of those arrays. So probably if we turn off the array itself to make our life easier, just hitting the turning off the preview. So starting here, that's much better, and ending here, exactly, that's the radius of the ring, so or the circle. So I'll, I'll have a go and um, to uh, add a circle, but for some reason, I think we already add a circle, haven't we? I think we did. Yep. Yeah. So this is the circle and it also has a radius and beautiful it also has um, an axis so I'm gonna take this one take a copy of it too lazy to search it again that's too bad but anyway that's just me so what do we need here is a center for that we a center i think the radius is the same radius we have here. i'll just maybe need an undo here to know exactly what i deleted just to see the radius it's the cross section of the profile beautiful so i'm just gonna keep that lucky and happy coincident and i need to do the big circle so it should be facing the vertical axis which is not x indeed i'll keep that aside and i need z axis Even if I didn't add it, I think the default is Z, isn't it? Yep, the default is Z anyway. And the center point uh, is uh, going to be the, uh, sorry, it's going to be the center point is this, the main one, which is this one. I can add the, the zero, zero point, which is the default original one, or I can add this lower, which is also zero, zero. I'll add this one. yep so this one so now the mistake i've done is uh the 
you know the radius one it will be the same as i said but this is for the cross section in here i need the radius that is actually generated by this point which is the beginning or the end of this arc so i'm gonna go to the arc itself arc by three points and we need to know which one is the start and which one is the end and you cannot know that because this general this form has actually been generated so it's a good idea to turn off that so we understand what is going on now that's much better so this is the start point uh, of that beautiful so the x value of this point is actually the radius of this circle so easily i'm going to go point dot x so having you know the x value of it that's the thing this is the radius so i'm going to just feed it to uh, the radius input and that's what we all what we need in here i'm going to delete that and you can see the circle has been generated this is the of course the path now we need the profile i don't need the one here the advanced one i don't know if we do ah oh, yeah we need because we're gonna rotate the uh, the normal actually this one can be done without you know but just a normal circle uh, by uh, center and radius without the normal i'll check that out so uh here in this one the radius as i said is this guy the center is this point whatever it is this one that's my center this one exactly and it's facing here that way so it should be y axis yep and i think we don't need this anymore now it started to really be messy so i'm gonna push that down uh, this is the circle as i show you i can just uh, change to the background view and zoom in a bit to it which is not a bit as you see <laughs> too much here that's the circle can zoom even more anyway but this is my circle exactly where i need it now all you need is to connect the lines this is my profile it should generate the sweep beautiful that's the thing that's the ring just uh together all of them and then hit ctrl and g and make a group uh let's call it the lower ring or whatever you want we can go ahead and copy that itself just hold the control and click in the mouse and drag uh, let's make the upper ring now in the upper ring uh probably need to zoom out a bit again we need this point as the center and this point as the radius so this dude is uh where it is let me get rid of the center point because they're gonna make a mess yep i think so uh, the lower one it should be exactly at this point so i'm gonna go to the top center one here here exactly and as you can see the radius is still taken by the x I don't think we need that anymore and I think we have the X already been defined for us in here let me see what I did or what I defined a couple of days ago it should be 0.25 isn't it yeah it is this point side point exactly and that's the radius for it so we need a radius so this is the radius and it should be exactly in here yep so this is not needed anymore and this guy in here again the point uh, 
should be facing uh, y it's okay uh, radius let me see again it's the same radius as this one so I'm not gonna change it all I need is to specify the location and the location is the point the top right one here I think this one yep let me push that aside nope uh, top side point this one so let's connect this one and we can zoom out to see and lovely you know it's really uh, placed properly now we need to create the two cylinders the top one and the lower one so I'm just gonna uh, look for a cylinder we need I think by point and radius let's try this one uh, it should be start point end point and radius we can use this one actually or this one let's see oh, maybe this one we have the CS and yeah this one uh, you can see it's bigger than the whole thing but it's okay so the first one it will be exactly uh, at the lower side I have no idea how much is this radius so you can go ahead and define it uh, manually or I'm just gonna assume it's 0 0.1 I have no idea how much and see you can make it fully parametric by giving it a slider but I don't really don't care it's not that much of a big difference in here you can assume it fixed or if you want it to be adjustable uh, go ahead and help yourself 0.01 maybe for the height uh, too much of the radius I'll just slash it to the half of it now I really need to see because it might look a bit thick but better before we go ahead and change the thickness I will go ahead and you know open whatever I hide here as a preview for those side pipes where they are here that's the first one I'll preview that and then I'll preview the rest of the array which is a geometry dot rotate node beautiful I think it's nice maybe a bit high I don't know go check the image the image it's, a, it's not like a plate here to be honest if you want to make it a plate and raise it up and make it sit above you know the pipes it's okay you can uh, do whatever you want uh, I lost my way here or you can just you know change that I don't know maybe 0.8 if you feel that a little bit of a uh, high anyway that's much better that's the thing so this is uh, I can just group that together control and G and call it a lower cylinder okay and just uh, copy paste that and make it you know the upper one ah dynamo don't do it In this one and in this case again uh, we need a coordinate system because we want it to be here um, we already I think defined that so let me have a look in the beginning we already defined a point and a coordinate system and even the origin so uh, let me just double check from the preview where it is it's for the side okay not a big deal so we can just steal this one for a couple of seconds here to the side and the origin is this one instead of this one that can be easily done something really bad in my laptop today guys I don't know what is it 
that's the top uh, top center one instead now we need to take those two things those two nodes beside the rest of the family there right here right on. and just connect the coordinate system and it should be appeared here too small of course and the reason is it's just uh, whatever the value the default value in here and that's not really nice so we need to fix this and the radius should be the same radius for the ring so if I select this one yep uh, this should be with the vector of y so the same radius as this one I will hit control and then click the mouse to take the same out of this input and give the radius to this guy and see what's going to happen maybe I should you know change the automatic to manual instead and of course I made a mess so I picked up the wrong thing and wait let me turn off this guy better so this dude here yep exactly not this one so that's the radius again control and click wishing that gonna be this one yep exactly and as you can see I'm just gonna get the the ring the upper ring to be previewed again to thick okay now you can just change that or you can add a slider to define the uh, this is not needed anymore you can add just a slider uh, that can change the you know the height of the glass so glass height or glass thickness whatever you want to call it So that's about it <clears throat> as you can see and the table is uh, technically uh, ready for you uh, one thing only it's just uh, modeled completely inside dynamo so no revit yet so and you can go ahead now and flex it and test if it's uh, you know uh, fully parametric or not maybe something will clash or you know it doesn't respond to the way you are thinking but uh, you can just go ahead and change the angle and the curvature uh, flex that and tell me if you find any any errors i wish that you find this video useful thank you very much for watching me and have a good day bye bye